Good afternoon. I um, I hope everyone's having a really good Sunday. It's uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, and uh, yeah, um, this is going to be. I just jumped in, but this is going to be Akai's last league um, league session of the day. He he did quite a few. This is, might be the fifth one, and uh, he had an awesome attendance. A lot of good players jumped in, so. Pretty, pretty excited for how that's going. Um, I love the leagues that Akai's been setting up. And it is a wonderful way to play. It's a fast way to get a lot of matches with a lot of different players. And they just kind of measure like how you're feeling and your progress. So I, I really recommend people doing these. Um, I think they're, they're absolutely wonderful. Um, they go by really fast, like less than 30 minutes when you have even a big room. And so it's good stuff. Um, all right, here we go. Also, last night we had an amazing uh, session. Oh boy, I, I can't wait to upload that to YouTube. Um, the Saturday night VF this weekend was pretty awesome. All right, start off with the Kai. This first game of the day. This is gonna be rough, but it's okay. That's what we're here for. Start. Let's see how this goes. Round two. Ready, go. I had the right idea though. Nice. Wonderful, wonderful round two. Okay. So I'm using the Sanjux V5. It's a really good lever, but I do struggle. I do struggle with staggering. On it. But I really like a lot of aspects to it. Really good, really, really good. So much fun. As for me, um, I've got a, I've been having an ear infection for the last few, for the last few days, so it's been weird. Nice, back there is always the one to use against me. Uh, too slow to punish. It's a minus 13 though. Alright, we pulled that one off. I want a serious fight. All right. Alright Wells, here we go. Good to see you, LD Wells. Pacific Northwest Battle, here we go.
Thank you very much for the game, LD. LD Wells. Forgot the train, eh? Used all my life experience. Alright, and right now I'm watching the um, match between. Uh, Silver Ginza and Akai, so this is awesome. Um, Silver Ginza's Leon is really nice. Um, she's got a lot of, uh, she's always been very creative, but also, like, she's also been sharpening each time I watch her play, so it's, it's good stuff. Um, Akai can be tough because it's hard to get a feel on the rhythm on Akai, on Akai's pie, um, because he can't go defensive and then he can go aggressive as well. Not super aggressive, but he he has like balances between a measured pace and a very defensive pace. Um, okay. It's a very good match though. Right now they're in the third they're in the fourth round. Very, very good game, Akai took it, but it was really good stuff. Right now we've got uh, Nomos Tomas versus uh, Second Cap. Second Cap is very good. I like Second Cap Sarah. Um, I really like it. I I've struggled with it before, so yeah, it's really good. All right, so I'm fighting Judah Makabius. Uh, Makabius. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure what to expect. With I fought them all time ago, and I can't remember. I I think I remember them being pretty strong. And Go is actually a tough one for me because you make bad decisions against Go, or if Go guesses correctly, like you can take a good amount of damage. Like it's not the largest, but it's good. And there are and yeah, it's rough. So if I, yeah, so they do play a patient reading first round. Yeah, that's my bad. Good, they converted this time. Okay, I'm still getting used to this stick. It just caused a slight hesitation on some stuff there. Good, they, they, they finally woke up. Hmm, okay, I'm slightly late on the last stuff, not lag. That's just me hesitating. Good stuff. Very good round. That was really good. How come I'm not guarding? Okay. That was really awesome. I might lose this one. I'm picking wrong options a lot, but he's doing awesome. Good 
Sam. That was very sloppy last round, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, I gave myself a heart attack when I didn't do the right things on a couple places. Good stuff, JDS. Second cap will probably be next, and that'll be really rough. Alright, Jinx. Alright, Jinx, let's do it. I think Jinx has also given me a hard time before. Um, man, so uh, ear infection really sucks. So I can half ear on one ear. He knows the way to... That's, yeah, that's going to be hard, almost impossible. That was so good. Good choices. We have lag that's messing with us a little, but he made really good choices. And then he's, he's properly aggressive. That's a big mistake though, I'm like as a okay. Very good. I might lose this one, I'm probably gonna lose this one. Good stuff, Jinx. Good game. That was an exciting match, Jinx. Forgot to train, eh? Yeah, only the Sanwa and the Golden Lev are the ones where I feel like I can break staggers. But that stagger is so hard to break. Like, you just need to sometimes take that hit or evade, you know. When you see a charge attack, evade's almost always the best option. And, yeah. Um... But that's also why the meaty setups are so scary, right? Because you can't really block them if they're perfectly timed for the for the max charge. Um, yeah. Hey, Jimmy. Good to see you. Thank you. Well, this next one's going to be hard because second cap is a really good player also. And I, I've, I've actually had a hard time with this era. Uh, not this hour. Okay, no one's toss. Awesome. All right, let's do it. Good to see you, Jimmy. Hope you're doing well. The stream might be able to hear Akai's chat more than me because my right ear is like infected and it's, it's been bad for a few days. I, I'm gonna see a doctor tomorrow if it's not better. I'm, I'm good, good aside from the ear infection. Interesting choices, there's a little lag spike there, that's okay. 
Okay, okay, gotcha. I'm a little slow on stuff right now, but I think I can go. Alright, let's see. But his choices are interesting. Oh my god, the lag is really getting me. Like, this is really gonna be hard. Oh, uh, really? Diagonal? Okay. Interesting time to reverse all, but. Again, the, this lag is really messing me up. This is going to be bad. Like, this is really going to be frustrating. But it's okay. It's what it is, he's doing good. So good, I'm gonna so die. Really good game. Really good game. I <laughs> that is that's interesting dynamics that were going on in that game. So hey, good job, good job. Way to go, Nomas. Very awesome. Okay, I guess I gotta buy on this round. Nope, I'm fighting a uh, Miner Rig. Another go. Okay, awesome. Alright, here we go, Miner.
That was such a good round. He made good choices. Oh my god, that was so good. Game my narrative. I guess I get the buy in this round, so this will be the buy round. This is an exciting match here. Round one. Ready, go! Second cap's improved. Go players do give me a hard time. Sarah players give me a hard time too. If they, if they are careful, they give me a lot of hard times. Hard to counter hit. Um, and uh, really good Okizami. So if I, I can make a lot of series of bad decisions on the Cup. Uh, I really hate my ear infection. Good. Especially when someone, yeah, that was such a nice opener. Backdash into uppercut. If, if the person likes to do aggressive openings. Such good conversion. That was a really good comeback attempt. Uh, second cap is doing really good. I'm actually thinking like there's a good chance I'm going to move against them today. If there if there are hiccups in the in our connection, uh, it's going to be harder, really hard for me. Um, but it, but it goes both ways because Sarah is um, as we we talked about this last night in chat. But Sarah is a character that needs to be precise to do their damage, and so lag really kind of goes both like goes against them too. Oh my god, wow, that was such an exciting comeback by Jinx. Good job, Jinx. That was an awesome comeback. Wow, oh, that was awesome. Right now I'm watching Wells Fan versus Akai. They're in the final round, they're in round five. Really good use of jab by both players. Um, like, both of them are not afraid to interrupt certain sequences with the jab. And that's really good. It's really tough to see who's gonna win. Akai is doing really well now. 
really good. Akai got a lot of evades in and then was able to finally um, get a free attack on um, on Wells. So good stuff, good game. Alright. Let's see. Alright, me versus Silver. Alright. Here we go, Silver. Be good to fight you again as always. Hope you're doing well. I gotta be very careful. Leon matchup, have to be so careful. Um, yeah, it can be very frustrating on like for both players. Ready, go. Good, that was really perfect. Really good. Good choices. Ah, good game. Good game, Silver Ginza. It's really scary because of those crushes, like when we crush each other. So she she read a lot of, like, she punished me for doing lows at very specific times. It was really good. the throw setup I saw Kai do where he threw the opponent and it ended up with them uh, getting a wall, like a wall hit. Here's the final round, and this has been a—it's a really fun league as always. I wish I got to play more of them. I should—I just didn't feel well waking up this morning, so. But I checked out the Kai stream, and I was like, "Yeah, I do want to play it too." All right, second cap. Here we go. This is gonna be exciting. Uh, I have a very good. Ch this is pretty good matchup. This is gonna be really hard for me. Sarah drives me nuts, so. Round one. Ready, go. Good. Good. That was really good choices. We do have a bit of lag, but he made correct decisions, so he would have won. Ready? This is going to be hard to confirm combos, though. Uh, this is really awkward. You can kind of see where the stuff is not coming out. And I, I don't know how to do damage with this right now. Cause... Good one. Like I said, I'm probably going to lose this one. Good choice. Good choice. Round four. Ready, go. 
That was a good. Oh, he he picked the perfect opening. I couldn't have it. Good game. Awesome game, second cap. Ah. It was stuttery, but they made good choices. That opening decision on that last round was really, really good. He read that I was going to do a backdash into a, into a punish, so that was really good. Um, I think it's, I don't know, if, if Nomas wins, I think it's, uh, I don't know who wins. I don't know who wins the whole thing. But yeah, um, against second cap, it was really good stuff. I like a lot of the choices they made. Um, but I also just, yeah, had a hard time reacting. Uh, so close. It was really, really good stuff. We had a wonderful time. So I'm glad I barely got that by two points. <laughs> You can you can like do that over and over again. Gotta love how that is. It makes you feel so good. Okay, so all right, second cap did five. Second cap did really good. So I could thought, just like I thought. that's going to be good for now um the reason being that like i really think i'm going to end up napping a lot today because of this ear infection um it's it's pretty bad but the play was fun the play was good i think you know i think overall i played okay i think i played good um just some stuff I could improve on for decision making early and being a little more decisive. Um, when connection's really strong, you're allowed to kind of like to wait on decisions until last moment and have a lot of confirms. When you're not, when you feel it's jittery, um, you can't exactly do that. That does, but it's still VF. You, but you just need to be more decisive and make. Uh, Make some choices, maybe adjust your reward to be a little higher, so that when you do win on decisions, you're you're winning on them, instead of making them small. So, um, but most of those connections today were really good, and the ones that were not good were still incredibly playable, still strong VF, but it was just more of like, okay, there might be a little bit of a slight desync, and so because of that, uh, you're going to end up slow if you're trying to table those. So just make bigger choices, you know, so, and sometimes, and every character in this game can do that. It's not something that's, I mean, some have it harder than others. Uh, Leon should really go more aggressive, um, but it's hard because he counts, he relies on counter hits. Um, but again, uh, if you're ever feeling like you're in that, it's, it's time to play big VF. But if you're, if you're feeling like the connection's really good, then you can play fast VF. Right, fast VF is using more small pokes and confirms and be like, okay, and I'm gonna set this up more and more. So that's my lesson for today. That's like what I could have done better on some of those matches. Um, but a lot of people did really good stuff, and Go players know it. 
Uh, Go tends to give me a hard time just because of the strength of the decisions. And so sometimes I have to match that. I have to do something that's going to do big. Um, or be very safe. But even, but there's no trying to be safe against Go for me. Uh, whenever I've tried that, it doesn't really work out. Uh, Go is always able to keep the fight up close. Um, spacing doesn't work against Go the way it might work on some of the other casts. With... Um, uh, against Sarah, it's more that Sarah is a very good safe striker, and I need counter hits to to do a lot of damage. So uh, I don't know who Raishan is, but I've seen them around a bit. Yeah, uh, I've seen them around, but I don't know them too well. It's a good question. Yeah, so Raishan, I'm not sure. Um, wouldn't be the first person I've seen called Raishan or Raishan X. I've seen that handle so many times on different people, but. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what their Twitch is, but yeah, it would be good to let them know that uh, if they're accidentally set on games and demos on Twitch. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I'm just looking at my rank data really quick. Um, but on the note that I was talking about with Sarah, Sarah is um, more of a safe striker, and because of that, I play into her a lot. <laughs> like, because I need my counter hits, and so, but a Sarah player is going to know that they're not supposed to overcommit. And so they, they don't get counter hit as much, you know. Uh, you kind of and so it's it's an interesting dynamic, and it's something where I have to get better at fighting against that type of approach. Um, but Cap is really second Cap is really good, and they they know my Leon enough to kind of know some stuff about what to do against me. And so they they had me clearly uh, like, oh, Chan is probably going to do this at this time, and uh, Chan Chai likes to crush when he wakes up, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the mid. You know, and that's really good. Like, I should just got up and block. So, um, awesome stuff, you know. Um, everyone's playing good. I, I'm loving the level of VF that we're at right now at about nine months after the game has come out, you know. So, um, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, let's see who we can raid because I think I want to encourage that. But if somebody does want to play, I'm up for a few matches. But I'm just the ear infection is just not fun. Um, it, it's weird. Like I'm, I'm like hearing myself speak because the bass in my voice is like reverberating in my head. So, yep. Take care, Kai. And thank you so much for the league. I'm really grateful for you doing this every Sunday. It makes the Sundays really wonderful, and Sunday daytime is the time I get to actually play BF a bit, usually. Unless something crazy happens at the restaurant. So... <laughs> Thanks, Nova. Yeah, I, I did sleep well last night, and I'm going to get a lot of nap today for, for this, so thank you. Um, very much. Really? Am I really the only one that's playing on here right now? Let's see if there is Ryshin doing the BF. Because maybe they're set to games and demos. Alright, let's see who's playing on games and demos. Let's see if there's a virtual fighter somewhere in here. A visual. It's like, Sega, please patch fix that. Please make it so that virtual fighter tells, tells Twitch that it's in the middle of a... Uh, so Robin is Cooley, no that's Tekken, okay. Alright, well maybe we'll help the King of Fighters through the league today. Let's see. Okay, standard button arcade parts. Okay, let's answer that question. Okay, um so any button that you want to use is good, and um, what kind of arcade stick are you using, Akai? If, uh, for the most part for Virtua Fighter, the standard is Sanwa OBSF, are the standard buttons. And they are still my, among my favorite. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then so the standard colors... For Virtua Fighter, then, is you would have guard on, like, guard would be green, uh, punch would be blue, and kick would be red, and if you had an evade button, it'd be purple or pink. Uh, obsidian black, okay, yeah, yeah, so Sanwa's, any any button will work pretty good. 
Um, so, song was really good. My favorite buttons right now are actually Crown 202s. So, and you don't get those at Arcade Shock, but you can get those at Focus Attack or Paradise Arcade. But Crown 202s are my favorites right now. They are quieter than the Sanwa, but they still have a really nice hard feel like a Sanwa. And they have that clack. I love the hard clack of Sanwas, and so 202s are like that. They use, they use um, mechanical switches, so they've got Cherry uh, MX Silvers inside them by default. They're really good. And the actuation is very quick. But um, yeah, I would say they're that nice balance where they've got the performance profile similar to a Sanwa, less of the problems of a Sanwa. Um, which I can go into detail another time. But generally, the only problem with Sanwa is that they're fragile. Um, if you like to exchange like the, the parts, like mix and match the colors, or if you just frequently take out buttons and put them back in, Sanwa's are very fragile. The, the snapping Sanwa's, the ones that, like, that you, you just push into place and then the prongs that you push to take them out, those things break so easily on, on every Sanwa model. On all buttons, uh, metallics are the ones that snap very easily, and sometimes transparents. On Sanwa, it's definitely transparents and metallics that will snap so easily, but even normal can snap. So there's a, on Butterkin, they have a snap-out tool, and I would say the effect of the snap-out tool is that it's really good, but like because of how fragile Sanwa buttons are, um, it just makes it so that you have like an 80% chance of your Sanwa buttons not breaking. While normally you would have like an 80% chance that they will break, <laughs> like that the prongs will break. So yeah, um, but yeah, Sanwa 30 millimeter is you want that true VF arcade feel. Sanwa 30 millimeter. My high recommendation though is Crown 202s. Um, you know, uh, gamer fingers are amazing, but that's that's for a different crowd. That's for people that are hardcore about their parts, that are willing to pay a premium and try to get something that's really rare to get. But the reason gamer fingers are so good is because they're comfortable to use, they're very quiet. They're, they are really, really quiet. Um, but also their actuation is really good. And it's underrated part, if you're an Akira player, you're going to like the gamer fingers. They Their negative action is really good. Like. When you do Akira's knee, I, I swear they're, they're, they're better on Gamer Fingers than almost any other button. Um, because of that one frame negative release, you know. Uh, because the action on both directions, the, the actuation curve is really good, and the spring is just about right on the Gamer Finger. They're not heavy at all, but for whatever reason, the buttons just go back up really quick. So I... Gamer Fingers is kind of objectively the best, but... They are silent buttons, which is good, but there's a different feel to buttons that use a dampener at the end, which Gamer Fingers are. Um, Crown are also quieter than Sanwa. They're they're pretty decently quiet, but the Gamer Finger buttons really is, you know, you compare them to like the Sanwa silent buttons. Um, high performance though for that si with that silence, which is an amazing combo. And if you're gonna play offline sessions in VF, silent buttons are good for you, and that's because. When you do wake up, you telegraph everything with sound. Um, your opponents will hear if you did tech roll versus mashing to, to, to wake up quick. The only way around that, aside from using silent buttons, is to actually just use unassigned buttons and, and, do, and always do a mash technique, whether you're doing tech roll or quick rise or manually getting up. So if you're playing offline VF, you really want to get used to always having a mash technique for all of your wake-up options. That way nobody can tell like how your um, the sound of your wake-up option, because it really gives you a way. It tells people exactly what Oki's ever to do uh, once they get used to that. So it, so silent buttons are a huge edge for that. And uh, yeah, hey Raishan, good to see you. Uh, okay, awesome. Oh, second cap and Raishan are the same person? Okay, awesome. Because, uh, second cap, man, you're awesome. Yeah. Um. But the reason I like this, the, the Crown 202s is just because of the clack. Because it has that classic Sanwa kind of feel, like of a hard button. Uh, when you play with silent buttons, they have a softer feel. Uh, you feel like you're playing with a toy when you play with silent buttons. So the first time you do them, you might not like them. Um. But, uh, whereas I think Crown nailed the balance on the 202s. The 201 Crowns are, are poorly reviewed. 
but the 202s is pretty universally praised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you were doing good, and you beat me pretty good, so I enjoyed that. Did you want to do... Uh, second cap, do you want to do, you wanna do uh, a small session? Do you want to play some? I don't mind sneaking in some training. Awesome. If anybody wants to play, we can do a, we can do a room match for a bit. Uh, my ears driving me nuts, but playing kind of helps, maybe. So, yeah. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice to get to know your name, Lamar. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, th those three are like, are really tops. I'm not a big fan of the, um, the Kwanba, the Kwanba Rain, uh, whether we're calling it Kwanba or Kanba or Chamba, it might actually be Chamba, um, because of Chinese way of using English letters. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, but the Kanba, um, Gravity, I wanted to like those buttons, but to me, they they remind me of Seimitsu buttons, and I'm not a fan of Seimitsu buttons. Um, but uh, but Kanba Gravity are also a uh, keyboard micro switch type of button, just like the crown, just like the gamer fingers. And I was hoping they'd be a substitute for the for the gamer finger, but they just didn't click right with me. I just wasn't as into them. They're not terrible. They're they're, they're good. Um, they definitely seem like they're durable, like they claim, but, um, I think if you like, I don't know, for me, they, they do remind me of Seimitsu, I'm just not the biggest fan of Seimitsu buttons, and I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, no, I'm not the biggest fan of combo buttons either, um, but yeah, those are my top three, Sanwa is always good, always classic, just fragile, uh, Crown 202s are my favorite, but, I'd also say objectively, gamer finger buttons live up to the hype. They're really good. They're probably the best. Um, but they are super quiet, and they have a softer feel. They have a nice tactile feel when you take the sticker off. Um, it's not that tactile. It's more visual that creates it. But yeah, something about the actuation curve is like really good though about gamer finger buttons. Okay, uh, so let's do a room match. Let's do uh, zero three twenty seven. And uh, I'll create a room. Feel free to join it. And um, let's see here. Let's create a four-person room. Passcode 0327. All right. Yeah. Um, if you if you. Um, Arcade Shock is a good place to get Sanwa buttons. They just always have a bunch of them. Uh, but there's a lot of special colors and, uh, and types that you could also get at Paradise Arcade and um, and also Focus Attack. And if you want if you want to get Crown buttons or Sam Duxa is the same name, same company, um, then you got to get those at Paradise or Focus uh, Focus Attack. For whatever reason. Um, Arcade Shock no longer carries the buttons, and I think that's because earlier on there were some uh, quality control challenges with with the Crown 202s. But I have not had any defective ones. They've always been good, and I've also heard of a fix f for a long time ago if there were a problem with them. But yeah, really good. And you can also with the Crown 202s you can change the micro switch inside them. If like you're not feeling that exact profile. Uh, it's not fun. I, I've heard it's not fun to change the micro switches in them, but you can. I heard it's easier in other other buttons like the Convas or the um, or Gamer Finger. They're a lot easier to change the micro switches in those buttons. But uh, but by default, they're using um, MX Cherry Silvers for the for the Crown 202s. All right. So again, the passcode if. Let's check it out and see if anybody wants to play. The passcode would be... I can also just invite... Um, do I have Ration? So I do a second cap.
Um, I don't see them here. Uh, Lamar, feel free to join us. Um, password again is 0327. Three zero six five six. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Does anyone have any other questions um, about anything? We're in the mood for chat while we wait for possibly another player. Um, and blurring, I bet your Vanessa is improving, and uh, it looks like it is. Oh, okay, <laughs> no problem, this is understood. Never you're bad for eating. <laughs> so if anybody wants to know what my what I'm playing today, um, whoops, this uh, I'm using. My friends, uh, Omni Arcade Stick, which I'll return to them very soon. Uh, this stick is, this is a crown bat top, but it's not a crown stick. It's a uh, Sanjux, which is made by one guy in South Korea. Um, and this is their Sanjux B5. Um, pretty good, it's a good stick. I'm not fully used to it, but I like it a lot. And uh, it's been easier to play than a lot of other Korean sticks. Um, and then the buttons are Gamer Figure. There's three gamer fingers I put for VF, and then the other buttons are my friend's buttons that I left on there, which are the, the gravity buttons. And he will not feel any disrespect on the commentary on Kongba gravity. He kind of feels similar to himself. Um, yeah. But this side of the hobby, arcade lovers, has been so much fun. I've been pretty obsessed with it. Um, let me see here. Let's make it a public room. Yeah, let's, let's, let's make it a public room with no password. So. Right, Ninja, here we go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see if it's their first time playing this character or playing VF. Or if they're, you know, a monster in hiding with us. So they know some combos, that was good to know. Uh, using frame advantage seems to be the way to beat them, which is expected for somebody learning BF. Good. Not fully crisp on this stick. Having that. Yep, there we go. Alright, 
Thank you very much for the game, my ninja. Keep it up. If you are on stream, if you're watching the stream, you're always welcome to ask me questions. The 3D movement, though, usually is something where it's like, it looks like they've got, you know, 3D fighting game experience. They have some ideas and stuff. Um, the 3D movement might be telling me that they might be used to other games. And, uh, but they do do some surprises because they're, they're comfortable with sidekick. They're probably a Tekken player. Um, not sidekick, but fuck it. So, low attacks ha are like, the problem with low attacks, the reason that they're not so good in VF is because like, you're kind of minus after they hit, most of the time, right? There we go, nice. So we're gonna practice sparring and we'll test out their, um, we'll test out their poking in. Okay, so that's basic low jab into launcher. Good. So that's the problem with low kick, right? He's at a disadvantage even after he hit me. So. This is why low attacks are not very good in BF, right? Uh, they're good for getting small damage. They're good to finish someone off. They're good They're good to get cheap hits, but cheap hits are cheap hits. That's why they're called cheap hits. You know? But I think he's also not used to the guard button. I have a feeling that they're not used to the guard button. They have an instinct to press back. That's why they're always holding back. Not holding back doing their moves, holding the direction back. So, yeah. Let's see. It's too bad my Brad's really bad, but I, I should probably play like Lao, but, but it might be really mean. Oh, any character. So there is no password for this room. Um, the uh, tech roll would be good for them to learn. Good. So they're used to the 3D movement. So in VF, um, good, that was good use of evade. So in VF, you need to use dashes as your main movement. Dashing is how you move in Virtual Fighter. That's using low punch counter hit into a count into a counter hit launcher, right? Because once I did that counter hit, they were at I was at plus seven, plus eight. Yeah, I think I was at plus eight. It's like plus nine if it's the high jab. Uh, probably seven. Right, and that's the power of low jab into launcher. Right, if you can get the counter hit with that low jab, that launcher is so good if they're hitting buttons. Again, the, so so like if you hit with like a low jab or like a low kick for most characters, after that you're gonna do something like that, like evade. So it's not bad to use like a low attack that's gonna put you at minus when it hits, but you need to do like you need to like evade after it or evade's really good after it, and then see if the opponent's gonna throw you. <laughs> you know, and if the opponent throws you, then you can go back to other stuff. But um, yeah. 
All right, we'll try this red bar. Oh, thank you very much, Right Ninja. You have a good one. So let's see how the red bar goes. But yeah, 2P, 2P combo, definitely what you gotta do at that low level. When people, if people are hitting a lot of buttons, that's your, that's your thing. If they don't have a strong defense. Once they have a strong defense, you gotta do a lot of other stuff, like throw and stuff. Okay, so they like to attack, that's why they're playing late right? So it's the same principle. Do, do like a basic poke into like a mix up. And this mix-up isn't even a mix-up. Against someone like this, the mix-up is launcher. Right, so low jab into launcher. And for me, it's actually, I got, this is actually a good time to practice it. So for me, I'm gonna do jab into um, 8K. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it into 8K. Oh, no, no problem at all. Right, so jab into elbow, jab into 8K is gonna work against them, right? But of course, Leon, it's if for sure it's the uppercut, right? If they like to hit buttons. Ooh, Rochester chicken sounds so good right now. And so, an opponent like this, you don't throw. Instead of throw, you do you do do the mid low mix up, and the reason you don't throw is because they're not defending. So attack always beats throw. So because attack always beats throw, there we go. But because attack beats throw, you don't throw. <laughs> hey, good to see you, Super Famicom. How have you been doing? Good to have you on Twitch on Twitch. And Leon, you can set up like side turn, side turn crumple. It's fun, like this. So someone like this, Leon's like half circle forward punch into double hand poke is really powerful. But the basics, the reason low punch is powerful at all levels of play, but especially powerful at this level of play is because people are pushing buttons. And if you're pushing buttons, you have a guarantee that that, uh, that low jab's gonna work, so. All right. Hey, welcome, Omar. Good to have you here. Man, getting the rematch. Lamar is my senpai, they have one red card. how that's the move it came out with. Right? Man, that thing comes out slow. Oh, whoops. Same thing, that happened exactly in the tournament. Good read. Yep, same thing. So Lamar, uh, you should do Nitaku if you block Leon's uppercut.
any of Leon's uppercut if you block them, do, do Nitaku. Like, wait till last moment poke always gets me. It, it always looks like you're not gonna attack, so then I'm like, I try to attack. <laughs> and so it's like, no, but she has a fast attack. Really good game. Good game, Omar. See what rapid fire is doing. So jab into guard break's not good unless you know that your opponent's gonna stop. Nice. Okay, good. They know combos. Roll combo is always good. Yep, they like this. They have setups. Okay, good. They've been studying. They've been studying done. Nice. They know how to play Sean. 
Okay. Round three. Ready? Go. They really like jabbing the guard there. It's, it's kind of a habit, but they like it. On the guard break on the guard break of doom. Round four. Ready, go. Very good stuff. Good game. They started to show more of their hand like in the last half of that. Better run home to mama now. <laughs> You're drunk? Okay. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Lamar. How was it? How was it with the uh, snake boss? Okay. Oh, very distracted, but it's all good. <laughs> I thought I was going to ring out. <laughs> so hard to focus with all this cheering. <laughs> it's okay, this is good training for tournaments. It is. No, it's good. It's good training for that. <sighs> good game. Sorry for the distraction, uh, Lamar.
<laughs> now we know who's doing all the cheering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the cat goes mild. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry for that distraction, Lamar. Uh, I do feel it was good training for me, though. Because <laughs> cause I, I am the type who like gets distracted by people chatting around me while I'm playing. So it's, it's good training. We have stutter. We have a lot of stutter. A lot of weird situations as a result of the stutter. It's so weird how Leon's elbow is gonna beat Kage's knee. That is so weird. Like the way that it does it. Jimmy, it sounds like you didn't have the best experience with Snake Boss. <laughs> but, um. All right, do not take rapid fire lightly. They know a lot of stuff with John. They do. They know setups too. No combos. South America has a really bad connection to the US in a lot of games. Yes, definitely. Good game, Rapid Fire. You have a nice, you have a lot of good stuff in your jaw. A lot of good stuff in there. Though, doing a, strings are dangerous, especially if I decide to evade certain parts of them. That that part is like Tekken, is when, um, if the opponent knows how to evade certain parts of your strings, you gotta be very careful. Yes, having fun is the best way to deal with leg.
guys. I cannot respond properly, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna do this. The problem is, is like half my stuff is not coming out. Like I'm, I'm inputting too early. And again, this is not always an online thing, though. That's part of it. It's a Sarah thing too. It's like I gotta wait to input stuff, and if I rush, stuff will not come out. Just because she's got a lot of stun on her attacks, and it makes me want to do stuff like that. Opening a lot of different options against him. And I'm not confident that I could even punish him if I was trying, so. Nice, nice change. <laughs> I knew that that probably cost it. I really thought that that hit might work. Good game. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if PBS is in this room. We were chatting because uh, Jimmy had fought. Uh... Yes. Hey, Killer's in here. Awesome. Killer's in the room. Yes. Uh, I want to change arcade stick because it's something that I can that I'm not gonna miss stuff on. But it's okay. We're playing with this one today. Round one. Uh, fighting kill, I can. <sighs> Gonna switch arcade stick right now. This is an experimental build. It'll be fun still. That's easier for me than the other one, so. Hey, Jaden, what's up? Yeah, get uh, cereal or something, and then I'll, I'll do lunch with it soon. Experimental build should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Might miss stuff too, but it's fun. Kill a killer is an extremely good player, such a strong defensive player. Interesting, the matchup is hard for Brad. So Sarah is hard for Brad, you're saying? That could probably make sense too. She doesn't she doesn't put out a lot like yeah, I can see that being tough.
All right, Phoenix Tiger, you're up. Man, yeah, no, Killa is an amazing player. <laughs> that was you were putting up a good fight with Killa, man. <laughs> yeah. Now kill 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 his defense drives me nuts, so and today your defense is driving me nuts too, so I gotta be careful. Not it's not it's not voting well for my match with Killer. Because Killer's got probably some of the best defense in the country. And Brad is really like Brad is awesome. Brad like has awesome whiff punish, good block punish. Um Drop wall, I think. Yeah, Brad's a real pain in the butt. Knockout. I'll take all the tips I can get. Round three. Ready, go. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I, I have seen Uppercut cheat a bit. I've seen Uppercut cheat some of Brad's moves. A lot of them, even. Really. Yeah. It's a good point. Is he checking his back step? He's using his back step in a very in a in a confirmable way. Huh? Hey, good to see you. Yeah, I would have, be happy to have you in here. I think the room's full right now, but I, but come in as soon as you can. Yeah, um, I didn't know that. I know I can beat a lot of his stance options just with low punch, but I didn't know about like that. What can I say? I'm on top. Boy, I'm gonna get beat up so bad here. This will be so much fun though. All right, let's see how this experimental build works today. How stupid choices. Connection slowing down. Round three. Ready, go. Good. I really like this current build, <laughs> so <laughs> I really like the stick build I'm using right now. Go. 
Crouch, throw escape, crouch. Thanks, thanks a lot. Oh, no, when Killer Killer though, like, builds that read, so scary. <laughs> so, Killer Killer's gonna come back with a vengeance. Alright, let's see how this goes. It is, yeah. Man, that, that opening is gonna get me a lot. Sorry for the stutters in that, like, the connection is really like this, like where our game was having trouble syncing. <laughs> Good game, good game. Yeah, no, like honestly, um, it's hard to find a more passionate fan base of players than like the Sarah players. <laughs> so, and and if Sarah's ever a weak character in a VF game, like you're gonna hear all about it, <laughs> and that's because they don't want to give up on the character ever. So, yeah. <laughs> This stick feels so good. This stick feels really good. amazing. <laughs> he was such an amazing player, holy cow. <laughs>
Oh, Lamar, um, man, you're welcome to stay. You're welcome to keep playing with us. Like, I don't mind the connection at all. I I enjoy playing you. <laughs> I, I enjoy playing Lamar a lot. So, don't don't feel bad on the connection, man. So he needs to he needs to do more of the um Nitaku and uh, uppercut block. Nice. That was a really good round. Awesome break. Good game, killer. Really good game. Hey, take care, Nova. Forgot to train, eh? Uh, Nova, thank you very much. And I promise you I'll get some good rest today. I probably can only play a few more games because I gotta I gotta make lunch for my kids. It's a late lunch.
Alright, good game, Phoenix Tech. Thank you very much for the games, Phoenix Tiger. Okay. This will probably be the last one, though, for today. Um, I really like fighting Killer Killer. I want to fight them more and more and more. Um, but uh, I'm going to make lunch for my kids after this, so. That said, I hope everyone's have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. I hope I'll play tonight, but this ear infection sucks. Direction. Man, that was some cool stuff. Had some fun ideas, didn't work out, but it worked out. That was awesome. That is awesome to see you, uh, Lamar. I gotta play proper frames on that. He knows it, so he's punishing it. Get to see you, you know, and again, um, I, I hope we play good soon. I always love fighting you. Thought he'd switch to back. Really good game killer. That was awesome. Really good guess. <laughs> that was so good. Thank you so much. Man, that was exciting. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna call it, but I want to play more. Um, we got Kung Fu Smurf here. You guys are killing me, but I gotta go. At the very least, let's watch this. Sticks acting up. Did the game crash. Is that the way on Okay. Round one. Let's watch this. Go. And Kung Fu Smurf, awesome to have you in here, man. And yeah, we'll do one more. I can't. I, this is too much. <laughs> This weekend's been pretty amazing, um, as far as VF, not in terms of my ear infection. Um, last night we just had such an amazing session. Today this session's really good too. Um, yeah. It's just like uh, everyone's like, having fun playing VF this weekend. Probably because maybe it's the maybe it's the effect of the North American qualifiers. really fun watching Kung Fu sort of doing his Yami on Killer. Oh. Man, if like body, if he, if anyone ever does deep body check in that situation, I will like, 
I'll go nuts. <laughs> That's hard to do. It's like way too hard to do, but it would just be amazing to ever see that. That was an awesome match though, and their second match is going to be so cool. Forget that that's combo. Good, good, good round. Ready, go. I need to a second. I think the lag is messing him up. Ah, oh, good game. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> it was all good. That was really fun. Now, uh, this has been an awesome session, and I enjoyed it very much. I'm gonna watch their match, and then I um, switch to part uh, spectator. That way, someone else can join the room, and we'll finish it up after we watch uh, these two fight. I don't want to see that much. That was really good stuff though. On the Discord, um, there was an interesting chat topic to know us, because um, interesting thing in this game is in the side turn situation, how the combo situation is actually very, very like challenging, because there's a lot of 
open stance versus closed stance, and there, there's a lot. There's a lot of like you have to read a lot of stuff when you're doing combos on side two. There, there's a lot of condition, special conditions that need to be met sometimes. So it's interesting how this game puts a lot of that in the side turn combos. Like, they're not as much in the main combos, they're there, but they're not nearly as much. But once you go into side turn combos, there's a lot of, you need to know the stances of the characters if you want to max damage. Kind of makes you want to have a VFTC combo list that's just based on side turn. As narrow as that situation is, and only really happens with like the top 30 players in the country, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's an interesting aspect of the game. Oh, uh, that was that was an exciting match. Good stuff, you guys. Good show. Let's send a raid out. guys for a match. I'm gonna send the room over to, we're gonna raid uh, Team Spooky because they're always supportive of the VF community so let's support them too. Thank you all very much. Everyone have a great Sunday and I hope to play you all soon. Ready? 